Hi guys, happy Monday. It's Monday today and I don't know, I'm really tongue tied today so you're gonna have to bear with me. Um, <laughs> but today's How To Be Happy January kind of is starting the week off in line with things I was talking about last week, which is more health related stuff. And this is obviously a beauty haul, as you can see by the title, but I'm going to be showing you different beauty products that I have picked up lately that are more green or healthy. Now, that being said, here is kind of my take on natural beauty products. I think that aiming to use natural products is really great. The way that I look at it is like, uh, if you can take products that you can easily replace with more healthy products, I think that's a good way to go. But if you can't find a replacement for something, or it's just, it takes down the quality of your life to use something natural, then I'm not really for using it. Okay, one good example is, I have yet to find a hair oil that works as well as the Chi Silk Infusion. I've tried some other natural ones and they just don't work and they leave my hair feeling kind of dry. Um, so for me, that's something that at this point I'm still going to use the cheese silk infusion and I use a lot of regular beauty products but places where I can slip in more natural healthy products with less chemicals and not really notice like I'm taking a step back or anything like that then um that's kind of just something I want to do so I'm going to go ahead and jump right into this haul. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start with is actually what I've been using on my face as a face cream at night. And I know that's a little bit scary because I'm used to spending, if you're like me, I'm used to spending a lot of money on night creams. Things that are going to help with scarring and my acne and all of that stuff. But I had read a lot of really good reviews about this, so I decided to give it a try. And I think I'm really liking it. I am using this Now Solutions Shea Butter. It's 100% natural. Um, it's just shea butter and it's hexane free, which I guess has to do with how they process it or something like that. Um, I actually read, I've heard of shea butter before, but I was reading Kim Snyder's book called Beauty Detox, which I highly recommend, and she was talking about shea butter, and she said that it's really amazing for fading acne scars, for um, wrinkles, for dehydrated skin, and she just really recommended it. The weirdest thing is, though, it feels like it would be bad for your skin because it's like a really, really thick consistency, but when you look it up online, there's like different websites that rate things like... Um, from zero to five on how much they clog your pores and zero meaning like not at all Five meaning they really clog your pores and shea butter rates a zero so which is trippy because if you've ever felt shea butter, it's like Thick it's like thicker than butter. So um, but I'm really liking it and I think I mean, it's hard to tell if I'm seeing a difference from this or because I'm juicing greens but then I also just have my period so my skin kind of like really healthy but a little broken out at the same time. Kind of weird, but um, I'll give you guys updates, but I just got this a couple weeks ago and I'm really liking it. So the next thing also from now is this European clay powder and I have been using this as a mask on my face and sometimes I've been mixing it with water, sometimes I've been mixing it with the next thing that I just got which was jojoba oil. All of this is from now and other brands are really, really great but now is really easy to find and they're a really well-known, reputable brand. So I've just been buying some stuff from them. So I have been using this on my face though and I absolutely love it. I'll mix it with water and I'll kind of massage it into my skin and then let it sit. And even when I do that in the shower when there's like steam around me and stuff, my skin still feels really great when I get out. It just is a really great, refreshed feeling that's left on my skin. Um, if that makes any sense. I am told you I'm really tongue-tied today, but I am really liking this. Also, let's see what this says. Shmer, shmer. Um, I'm like 99% sure from what I've read online that you can also take clay, like this type of clay internally. I know Rachel takes clay internally as a detox sometimes, and apparently you can do the same thing with this. That's the cool thing about natural beauty products is a lot of times they're multi-use because they're not going to hurt you, so you don't have to be like afraid to use them different places for the most part. So got that. Um, like I was saying, I got jojoba oil also, and I'm liking the jojoba oil, but it's just kind of another 
oil, if that makes sense. Um, jojoba oil is supposed to be really good for you. It's multi-purpose. This is a widely used product for like hair, skin. I've been using it, mixing it in the mask, using it around my eyes, sometimes in my hair, but I'm not really loving it in my hair. So far, to be honest, this is probably my least favorite thing that I purchased in this haul. Um, I don't dislike it, and for six bucks, it's like fine, but I'm not like in love with it. The next product though, I am absolutely in love with, and this is probably like over the, my lifetime, probably my eighth or ninth jar I bought of this, maybe a lot more. And this is Dream Cream from Lush. I love this stuff. And I'm pretty sure it does have, yeah, it has two parabens in it, which is kind of annoying. But the reason why I got it is because I started getting, um, whatchamacallit, I started getting this rosacea stuff that I get around my nose. And I had never had it, but my sister gets it. And nothing was really getting rid of it. So I picked it up and I actually just, like I, I started putting it on my nose last night and I'm already seeing a difference on my nose. This is actually the stuff that got rid of a bout of eczema that I had like five or, dude, not five years ago. Like it was like eight years ago. I had really bad eczema all of a sudden out of nowhere. And the creams that I was using from the doctor weren't working. And so I picked this stuff up at Lush and he got rid of my eczema, crazy. So I kind of just turned to this stuff when I have weird skin stuff come up and it seems to really help and it doesn't seem, it does help every single time. So I love this stuff and I'm obsessed with the smell, so that's a good thing. The next thing that I picked up was this Crystal Essence Mineral Deodorant Body Spray in Pomegranate. So I have tried so many times to find a natural deodorant and none have ever worked for me. I've tried like the Burt's Bees one. I've tried this deodorant in the lavender smell that was like roll on um, and I've just never been happy. I've tried Tom's, I've never liked them. This is the first natural deodorant so far that I've liked. Now, in the last three weeks, I've used this every single day. One of those days I did have to use regular deodorant because I was like, dude, I smell today. I don't know what's going on. So I used natural or I used regular deodorant that day. Um, that kind of goes back to, I think the whole like affecting your life. Like if something is bad, like I didn't want to go out stinking. So I used regular deodorant, but um, this, have, this stuff has been working though every single other day. So um, I'm really liking it. It's like five bucks at Whole Foods. So that's good. This next product I have been using on and off for a really long time. Rachel actually, actually introduced me to it a few years ago and this is Rose Water and glycerin spray and I usually just get the rose water spray but they were out of just the rose water they only had rose water and glycerin and I googled it and apparently glycerin is like fine it's from it's vegetable glycerin and I guess it sometimes holds moisture in your face and it's commonly used in um, different like products and stuff so I love this stuff I use it to set my makeup I use it when I get out of the shower like right before I put my lotions on to keep a little moisture on my skin and I really like it it smells amazing it feels amazing I use it all the time and it's like six dollars so I highly recommend this okay so this next product is really really strange but I swear I really really like this stuff this is called dr. O'Hara's probiotic soap and I have it just sitting on an old like candle topper um, because it's been sitting next to my sink oh and I don't have the packaging anymore but it's really awesome it's like $15 and it's basically just probiotic soap so you know how you take probiotics internally this is like a soap that's infused with probiotics so I guess what it does is it helps put good bacteria onto your skin because a lot of time you know acne it's bad bacteria so it puts good bacteria onto your face and it helps your other products be more effective and I thought it was this weird gimmick but when the woman at last and sold it to me I was I just kind of bought it because I was like okay well I'm here all the time and I don't know you recommend other good stuff but sounds weird so I bought it and I really really like this stuff I used it a few months ago I've talked about it in videos before but I kind of forgot about it and I started using it again and I really really like it also side note Dr. O'Hara's probiotics are my favorite when I, I had like this weird bout of athlete's foot like a few months ago and I would never had athlete's foot before even when I was actually an athlete and when I started using Dr. O'Hara's probiotics it went away like super fast. I used that and I used this and it went away so fast and Tanactin wasn't getting rid of it. Tea tree oil powder was not getting rid of it. Vitamin C wasn't getting rid of it, but this stuff worked so well and so fast. So I very much recommend it. 
Okay guys, so that is it. Let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter using the little hashtag thingy if you have any natural products that are like your favorites that you would recommend because I would love to let everyone know. I retweet a lot of tweets on Twitter um, when people recommend stuff or show me stuff they're doing just so we can all share together and kind of have like a little community. Um, so yeah, let me know what your favorite natural products are. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of the day. If you want to see daily vlogs, check out our vlog channel. By our, I mean me and dad because we are vlogging all the time and we're doing like more video shows on there and we're having an absolute blast. So I will see you in a couple days and yeah, bye guys. Stay with me.